Hi, welcome back to Sotoku Tech. I follow LilyGo9 on Twitter and I saw that they just released their T Impulse. It's a smart wristband with GPS and LoRa. That's pretty cool. Oh, it also has uh, nine degrees of freedom with accelerometer, gyro, and magnetometer. You know I love my TTGO T-Watch 2020, so I'm looking forward to unboxing this LilyGo T-Impulse smart band. Here's the GitHub repository. You have options here, Arduino IDE, Platform I.O. They even have links to a couple of other firmware libraries for this band, so pff, we got our work cut out for us. A red banner with attention in it always gets my attention. And they direct you to this utility for updating your USB drivers so that you can make sure you see your STM32 in Device Manager. Okay, let's open the box. Comes in a sturdy plastic case. Here's the specifications. Yeah, that ICM20948 has the gyro, accelerometer, and the magnetometer, a compass. And of course, this is the S76G chip. Here's the ubiquitous USB-C cable. Hey, we got instructions. Yeah, you want to see that STM bootloader in your device manager. Here's the pin map. More instructions. How to install the firmware. I don't know what application they're using here. I have to get out my magnifying glass. <laughs> And then directions for getting started with the Arduino IDE. Stay tuned, we're going to be doing all this. And then in order to upload, you have to hold boot and reset together, then release reset, then release boot. So the wristband is sturdy silicone, much like any other smart band. We're just going to break it open here so we get a better look. Yeah, there's your boot and reset button. And there's your USB-C port on the side here. I'm going to go ahead and plug it in. There, you can see it's booted up. It's telling us the fake time. I'm back in the 80s. I just pressed reset, and you see the LilyGo logo. There's a soft button here that cycles through the screens. LoRa send, LoRa receive, GPS test, battery Here's your accelerometer, another accelerometer demonstration, the gyros, and there's your magnetometer. Which way's north? It's interesting, after it ran a little bit, it actually picked up the time from the GPS. You see this right here. The hour's not correct, but the date and the minutes are correct. So it got some information from GPS. I didn't really do anything except play with it. Make sure to check out my complete LilyGo TTGo LoRa32 setup and range test video. That's using the YoYo Get TTGo LoRa32 library here. And we're going to test the LoRa unit on this band. I'm assuming that they shipped it running 868 megahertz. In the U.S. we use 915 megahertz, but I went ahead and loaded 868 on my TTGO LoRa32 boards. This is the sender and receiver example sketches. Here the T-Impulse is sending LoRa packets to my TTGO LoRa32 board. And now here, my TTGO LoRa32 board is sending LoRa packets to my T-Impulse smart band. Hey, the GPS got a fix. 
That's not going to tell you where I live. It gets you to uh, Wilcox Dry Lake Bed. It's pretty far from here. Yeah, it's missing some significant digits there. But I thought it was cool. I actually got a GPS fix in the house. That's four satellites, it looks like. Okay, so stay tuned for more. We're going to be working with this LilyGo T-Impulse Smart Band. And give this video a like. Leave a comment down below about what you want to do with your LilyGo T-Impulse. And before you go on to watch more of these videos, click on subscribe. Thank you very much.